Hello everyone and welcome to this simple Sumo Bot. Step six, programming the main code for the EV3 Classroom app. Let's open the battle program that we were working on previously. Here we have the starting code, which makes the robot wait four seconds, go forward until it sees black, then go backwards and turn right to face the opponent. We can also see that our EV3 brick is connected and all of our sensors and motors are connected and functioning properly. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is take away the stop and exit program and delete it. We're gonna introduce a new function. We're gonna to go to the events menu and introduce broadcast. We're going to broadcast a new message and we're gonna call it main battle. And we're going to take when I receive message one and replace it with main battle. Now we're gonna start a forever loop where we're constantly asking the robot's three sensors what they are seeing and respond appropriately. Let's start with a forever loop. And then we're going to have an if then else statement. So if the first sensor, which is the color sensor plugged into port one is less than 20%, that means that the right sensor is seeing black. So what are we gonna do? We're going to go backward for one second and we're going to then turn right for 0.5 seconds. If the left color sensor does not see black, we go on to the next question. So we go back to our control and introduce another if then else statement. And we're gonna ask the question for the next color sensor, which is attached to number four. If the left sensor sees black, which is less than 20%, we want to do the same thing as before. Move backward for one second, and then move right for 0.5 seconds. If neither color sensor is seeing black, we want to check our ultrasonic sensor. So we have one final if then else statement. We're going to check the ultrasonic sensor, which is plugged into port two, and ask the question, if it is less than 20 centimeters, we are going to move straight at 100% speed. Charge that enemy and destroy them. If all of our sensors are not reading anything noticeable, we would like to start move straight at 50% speed. All right, let's write some comments over here. If right color sensor detects black, then move back and turn. If left color sensor detects black, then move back and turn. If ultrasonic sensor detects a close enemy, then charge at 100% power. If no sensors are detecting black or the enemy, then move forward at 50%. And there you go. 
We have our full program and our simple sumo bot is ready to engage our opponent and hopefully defeat them in battle. Let's have a look. So here's the starting code, four second wait. Go forward until C black line, backwards and turn. Now it advances and it will keep advancing until either sensor hits a black line. Hits a black line, goes back and turns. Hits a black line, goes back and turns. Once it sees something closer, as you probably detected, the ultrasonic sensor makes it go a little bit faster. And there you go. The robot is ready to battle.